Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to J Sports. I'm your host, Jason Alamillo. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And press that post notification bell so you never miss another one of these videos. Now, remember, I will be going live today with Duncan Die, one of our guests. Uh, hopefully, if uh, things go right and he, no one cancels, he or I, uh, we will be going live. I will create the stream. And we will be talking Dodgers, all kinds of Dodger talk. All right? It's going to be amazing, including this next thing of Clayton Kershaw. So the L.A. team physician uh, uh, thinks that he'll be there. So this article is from Dodgers Nation. Dodgers, L.A. team physician thinks Clayton Kershaw will pitch in 2022. So this article is uh, from Dodgers Nation, and it talks about how the surgeon talks about Clayton Kershaw, the main man, the man, the myth, the legend, the franchise pitcher of the Dodgers, my favorite dude on the team. It says, and it goes, much has been uh, much has been made of Clayton Kershaw's free agency. The Dodgers franchise pitcher did not sign before the lockout began uh, before the lockout began on December first, which has led to speculation about his future. Kershaw's troublesome elbow held him out of the majority of the second half. Uh, let's see. Kershaw left his final Dodgers start in 2021 with the ball in his end. It inevitably left some to believe if it was Kershaw's final appearance with the Dodgers or maybe his final start game in the MLB. The Dodgers team physician, Dr. Neil Elitraj, uh, Dr. Neil Elitraj, doesn't believe it was Kershaw's final game. Elitraj gave his opinion on an episode of AM 570's Dodger talk, Dodgers Talk. No, it is Dodger Talk with David Vasick. Uh, I don't believe so. I know the desire is still there. The rest of the personal, uh, the rest of the personal things that go into making a decision like that. And let me get this to scroll. Uh, I think you need to have Clayton find all that stuff for himself. He's going to make a de- he's going to make the decision that's best for him. As far as baseball goes, the competition of it, I know he would like to play. We'll see. Hopefully, this works out. Vasic later added on the Petros and Money show that uh, Elitraj quote did not sound a hundred percent of. Confident that number 22 would be ready for the start of the baseball season, whenever that is. The world-renowned orthopedic surgeon doesn't, uh, d- let's see, world-renowned orthopedic surgeon, surgeon didn't claim to have any uh, inside knowledge, but he spends more time with Kershaw than the rest of us. Some have speculated that Kershaw could sign for uh, with the Texas Rangers to pitch close to home. However, if Kershaw wants to pitch for a World Series contender, Dallas probably isn't the place. For now, Dodgers fans and Kershaw uh, and Kershaw have to wait until the lockout is over to see where where the hurler ends up. And uh, I love that article. It's nice and short, although I struggle to read it apparently. But it basically kind of states where people are, uh, what people are saying about them. And I'm a part of the uh, the Dodger Blue group or Dodgers Nation, whatever it is. And listen, I, I think uh, a lot of people, they would love to see Clayton Kershaw back in Dodger Blue and, and in white uniform and all that. They would love to see him slugging off a, a curveball. They want to see him throw his cutters, his sliders, his fastball. They want to see him do all of it. But again, he has missed a lot of games. He is, I mean, he is getting up there in age. Max Scherzer, uh, Scherzer, I can't say his name anymore for some reason, maybe because he made me mad, was 37, but he was still throwing pitches like he was 20. And, you know, Clayton Kershaw, unfortunately, he was overused uh, by the by the franchise. They, they relied on him for way too much, especially in the postseasons for nine years. And, you know, he, I think his arm has had enough. He didn't have any backup. He didn't have any help. And even with Bueller and and Urias and and then May got hurt and then Bauer and then uh, you know all these guys, they really didn't have anyone and even Scherzer to really help him out. It came too late. Now a lot of people are just saying, look, you need to give him up. Uh, he needs to retire. It's time for him to go. 
Uh, I forget some of the other comments I saw, but they're saying, look, he's just not good anymore. It's just not the same Kershaw. It's never going to be the same Kershaw. We all know that. But that that's kind of the state of where people are, is that they don't see Clayton Kershaw pitching for the Dodgers. Now, I... I I really would hate to see him in anything other than the other than a Dodgers uniform. I'd love him to retire in LA, maybe even become a coach or do something else. But I would not like to see him on another uh, on another team. It almost makes me cry. Oh, just to think about it, uh, think about Clayton Kershaw on on another team. I don't really see that, and and I don't think it's a good thing if he does go to another team. But you know, this is this is a a, a big thing for the Dodgers. And, you know, um, at first they said, look, Clayton Kershaw needs to get healthy. Clayton Kershaw needs to talk it over with Helen and the rest of the family. And really the kids, they're, they're going to tell him, go, Dad. But Helen would have more to say, his wife. But, I mean, it's been months since the season ended in uh, October. You know, we're already o- o- almost we're already three months out and baseball season is going to start. And we don't know when the lockout's going to end. We don't know if Kershaw's going to sign. Nobody knows anything. The only thing that we do know is that we do need some ace starting pitching. Uh, May won't even be back. Dustin May won't even be back until after the All-Star break, like May or June or whatever. You know, we do have Andrew Ahidi. We have uh, Julio Urias. We have Walker Bueller coming in, and that's great. But we need more people, and I wish they would bring back Bauer. I wish they wouldn't have done him dirty like that. But we do need guys like that. And look, I mean, I'd love Kershaw to be back. But again, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen with him. I'd love to see him in Dodger blue, but uh, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe his time is done. You know, he has been playing for, uh, you know, 13 years now. Maybe it is time for him to go. We're not very, I, I, I don't want to think of that, but that is a real possibility. Now, will he pitch for the Dodgers again? I, I, I'm giving it a two and a half, maybe three stars, uh, or if you want three Dodger dogs, that, that he will. I, I, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be honest with you. But uh, there is also a chance that he won't. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I have no idea. I would hope that he pitches for the team. Now, if you have any thoughts and comments, be sure to let me know down below. Do you think Clayton Kershaw will pitch for the Dodgers again? Do you think he'll go pitch for some some uh, team like the Rangers? I know uh, Corey Seager is wanting him to get that big Texas money too. Or do you think that he's going he's gonna to retire in Dodger blue? Do you think he's going to be a coach? Would you want to see him out there or do you not want to see him out there? Let me know in the comments down below. And make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Press that post notification bell so you never miss another one of these videos. And including our live stream. Make sure you watch our live stream where I will ask Duncan Die all about this and I'm sure that he'll mention it. Alright, I'll see you next time.